All right, so boom, five hip hop dances that never caught on. I thought about this video idea because I had made a video a long time ago called the worst hip hop dances from 2000 to 2019. I was rewatching that video and I started thinking about forgotten dances, dances that you never hear people talk about, mainly because they never caught on. Like when these dances came out, you saw a little to nobody doing them. People did the dance for probably a few months and then immediately forgot it was a thing. But one thing I hope you guys don't forget is to check out the song Next Time by Jay Varys. The Lord, I know I said this last time, last time. But I swear this the last time. last time Cause truth be told, these ain't the best times Matter of fact, the last time will be my next time Next time, my last time will be my next time Next time, my last time will be my next time Ain't ready to change yet Yet I'm still praying and help this situation I swear to you Follow Jay Varys on his SoundCloud Instagram for more music and y'all already know the deal. If you enjoyed the video, give it a like and subscribe for more. So Tooted and Booted was YG's very first single. For the mainstream, this was the very first song a lot of people knew about him. And it also featured a then unknown Ty Dolla Sign. When it first came out, everyone considered him just like a random R&B singer on the song. But years later, people started going back to the track and saying like, oh shit, this was Ty Dolla Sign the whole time. And now, considering that this song was a whole decade old, I'm sure most people forgot that YG even made this. Another thing that I'm sure most people forgot is that it was a dance attached to this song. So, Toot It and Boot It was another way of saying like, hit it and quit it, and that's all the entire song is. Young gangster talking about smashing a girl and then not talking to her afterwards because he ain't trying to be in a relationship. So, during the song, in the video, YG has this part where he says, I toot it to the left, I toot it to the right, mess it with me, we gonna do it all night. And he does his little dance right here with it. But that's not what I want to talk about here. Now, I'm cheating a little bit with this entry because the dance that goes along with this song wasn't the intent that YG and Ty Dolla Sign had. This is a dance that somebody else made, and it ended up becoming popular a little bit, but it didn't last very long. After only a couple of months, everyone looked at the dance and realized how ridiculous it was. A YouTube channel by the name of Wild ENT News created this dance for the song, and if you ask me, the dance is pretty damn stupid. So after this video from Wild NT News blew up, there were people uploading their own YouTube videos trying to do the dance. But like I said, it didn't last very long. It just became a point where people realized that this isn't even the type of song you're supposed to be dancing to. So every other song on this list is specifically a dance track. The artist went into the song trying to create something new for people to dance to. YG wasn't doing that here. This is on the list because everyone else was trying to make a dance out of it. And one dance got a little bit popular and the hype for that died down pretty quickly. So Teach Me How to Jerk was the second biggest jerking song during the whole wave when the dance was becoming a thing. The first one being You're a Jerk by the New Boys. And when it comes to Teach Me How to Jerk, overall, it really makes me feel bad for Audio Push. Price Tag and Octane are honestly some great rappers, but they dug themselves deep into a hole by making such a trendy song. After the jerk movement died down, this was the only hit these guys are known for, and most people can't name a second song by them. But throughout the song, they don't even teach you how to jerk. The song doesn't have a single instruction written in it except for the last verse. In this verse, they both shout out different dances for people to do. So first, it's the reject. Like pause, step, now do that reject. The reject is like the most popular part of jerking. Some people used to think the reject was jerking. And they didn't know that that was just one part of an entire dance. I remember this old ass video called How to Jerk from the channel called Howcast. The entire two and a half minutes of the video is just them doing the reject and no other jerking move. Like stuff like that is just how many people thought that that was the entire dance instead of being one move. But anyway, next they say, now put your knees to the ground and take it down. And then they do another form of jerking. These next two moves that they shouted out are the reason that this song is on this list. So the third song was called Dipping, and just look at this. I bullshit you not, I have never seen anyone do this. I used to watch so many jerking dance videos when it was popular, and this dipping thing was never in anybody's arsenal. Nobody had this in their repertoire. This music video was the only time I've seen anyone do this. Y'all know what this dance looks like? I wanna see you bust down, pick it up, not break that sh This looks like a prototype for Blueface's bust down dance, so at least he made this popular. And last but not least, the UFO dance. <laughs> no, 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 no. 
You can search up any video of people doing the jerking dance and you will not see the UFO. This looks like your typical throw your hands in the air and wave them like you just don't care dance that people did in the 1500s. So I don't know why they took that and called it the UFO, but this also never caught on. So that's why I put both of them on this list. This part of the song always stuck out to me because as many jerking dance videos as I watched back then and even seeing in person, the dipping in a UFO was never a thing that anyone did. Yo, what's up, y'all? It's your boy, Kale Mitchell. Now, I know everybody know I like to drink orange soda and all of that. It's been crazy on Nickelodeon. So I got a new announcement. I got a new cartoon coming out. It's called Orange Soda Boy. That's right. So I was chilling with my homeboy, Mike, back there, a.k.a. the Orange Phantom. Holla at him. Orange fan, that's right. And we created a new dance. It's called the Orange Soda Boy. That's right. We want everybody to do it. It's going to be crazy. It's going to be sweeping the nation. You got to get your stunning shades on and do the Orange Soda Boy with your boy Kale Mitchell. And watch the cartoon when it come out. So that intro by Kale was all the explanation y'all needed. <laughs> he actually explained it perfectly. So out of nowhere, Kale decided that he wanted to create a new dance craze and he wanted to call it the Orange Soda Boy to pay homage to his old Nickelodeon days. But let's just look back at this damn video that Kale made. So the first problem with this is that this quality is fucking terrible. I think he recorded this on a Sega Dreamcast or something. Secondly, he actually said multiple times throughout the video that he was making a cartoon called Orange Soda Boy and he wanted people to watch it. The Orange Soda Boy with your boy Kale Mitchell and watch the cartoon when it come out. This cartoon never came out. It has been over 10 years and there hasn't been any information ever released about this cartoon. So that's out the window. Thirdly, he was saying how the dance is going to be crazy and it's going to be sweeping the nation. There wasn't a single nation that was swept because of this dance. The only two people in the universe that did this dance were the people in this video. It's actually very, very sad how Kel has such high hopes for Orange Soda Boy and it went nowhere. Let's look at this dance for a while. Okay, so other than the twerking part right here, I feel like a big reason why this dance wasn't a thing, this shit requires too much footwork. Ain't nobody trying to do all this. I mean, people did it with jerking and Lil Uzi's Fusu Shuffle, but those dances were cool. This just looks like high risk and no reward. Let me see that again. Was that the was that the Superman plus pretending to drink orange soda? He tried to make this a thing? Like, ew. Hey, I, I can't take this anymore. It's really depressing seeing a person have such high hopes for something that would take off and then it just goes absolutely nowhere. This is just all around lame and embarrassing that Kayla Mitchell even tried to do this. That's right, that's right, Orange Soda Boy. Cartoon coming soon. It's your boy Kale Mitchell. Orange Phantom. Yeah, learn to dance. Get the shades. Yeah, shut up. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That's right, y'all. All my fans, I love y'all. This for y'all. This for y'all. For real talk. Orange Phantom. Oh, wait. I can't find a stop. So after Sergeant Boy had the astounding success of Crank That Soldier Boy, he tried to create a slew of other dances. He had the snap and roll, the let me get him, and he kind of succeeded with Dunk, but that song always been like a twerking song for the ladies. Nobody ever did the dance that him and his homies was doing in the video. But if there is one dance song that got popular and then the dance itself instantly died, was Bird Walk. Now, I don't know about anyone else, but the reason I feel like this dance didn't last that long it's because Soldier was trying to make a new dance with every damn song he came out with. Like Mr. Boy, there's only so many times you can sweep a nation with a new dance move. Some people tried to do it once and failed miserably, but the king of the internet was doing it all the time. It's a good thing and a bad thing because when you think of Soldier, you for sure think of like four or five dances that he started, and some were more popular than others. For the song, Bird Walk itself, I actually rock with it. Like y'all should have seen Middle School Amir. This song was hot for me. S O U L J A B Z. Bird walk, crank my dance, make it look easy. Like, fight me. This song is a classic. But yeah, when it comes to Sir Boy, he had a few other dances here and there, but nothing was ever going to beat the original Crank That. And speaking of Crank That.
2007 to 2009 was an extremely dark time for hip hop. Soldier Boy created a trend that was a hot ass mess when he made the original Crank That. Everybody and their kinfolk tried to create their own version, and oh my lord, these are some of the worst dances you will ever see in your life. The reason I put every Crank That other than the original and the Crank That Batman is because them two are clearly the most popular ones. The third most popular was the Crank That Yank Yank, but I truthfully never cared for that one. I thought three was too much at the time. And then you had a few others that were mildly popular. And there were enough people that knew about them, like the Crank That Homeless Man, the Crank That Michael Jackson, Crank That Forrest Gump, Crank That Lion King. But oh my gosh, I'm about to take y'all down a wormhole of some Crank That dances. Y'all probably didn't even know existed. This could have been a video by its damn self, but oh well, we about to see a lot of these. We had the Crank That Lawnmower. The crank that jump rope. Crank that cool whip. Hey, actually, actually, I, hold on. I'm not, I'm not even gonna lie. This, this shit kind of nice. <laughs> the crank that cool whip, kind of nice. Crank that Aquaman. The thing that's making me upset about this is that I feel like he's genuinely enjoying himself doing this dance. Like he knows that he looks like a whole ham right now and he does not care. He's embracing it. And I know that this has absolutely nothing to do with the dance. But do y'all see that, that area over there to the upper right? How exactly are you supposed to get over there? Like I want to assume that that's like some stairs leading to the basement. But like the kitchen counter goes along the entire wall. Like you can't fucking get over there. I know I'm not the only one that noticed this. Whatever's over there like you can't reach it. The kitchen counter is all in the way. This was a poorly designed house. But anyway next is to crank that Peter Pan. And hey, hey I'm not even gonna hold y'all up. This is one that I actually used to like when I was younger. I still do like it, if I'm being honest. The slide to the right, throw it up, crank that motorbike, stop side, walk it out, do my dance, crank that Peter Pan. This one was actually cool as hell. We had to crank that Urkel. <laughs> the crank that what you call it. The crank that Roosevelt, which was which was hella suspect if I'm being honest. I don't know what these niggas were trying to do. There are many, many more out there, but I can't have this video going on for too long. If y'all really want to see how bad hip hop was at the end of the 2000s decade, then just look up as many crank that dances as you can find. I promise you, you will be ashamed of what you see. Out.
Outro, outro, hip it, hip it, out.